sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. Align in the back of your skull with sacrum and let your arms rest onto your thighs. And activate your feet, spread the toes, feel the inner lines of your legs as you're opening up into hips. Your sit bones as it grounds to the floor. So your sit bones are grounded down and then feel that energy so that you draw the energy from the earth up into from perineum up into belly up into heart so give yourself a moment or two just to notice how you feel staying with the immediacy of what you feel not overlaying it but just staying with what you feel right now. Pick one area to focus your practice today. And then breathe into that area. And then exhale. As you exhale, exhaling completely, getting rid of anything that's not serving you. And then breathe to the area that you've chosen. And then exhale. As you exhale, let go completely, let go of anything that is not serving you. So you're making space for that new intake of breath, the breath that warms up, the breath that warms and nourishes your body. So breathing. And exhale, and exhale, relax your jaw. Breathe to your side ribs, feel as if your ribs as they open out wide to armpits. Now on exhale, lift your sternum, exhaling completely, and at the end of the exhale, pull your belly in, belly's all the way in, nice pressure sit bones to floor, and then release. Starting today with wrist stretches, so change the cross of your leg, and reach your right hand forward, spread the fingers, take hold of the little finger on your right hand, and then ease it back and breathe, breathe to palm of hands and spread fingers as wide as you can. And as you breathe up, palm of the hand is forward, open in the hands a little more, if you can. And release, taking hold of your ring finger, pressing down into your right sit bones, breathe to lift out of right side. And as you exhale, glide your right shoulder away from your ear and release, taking hold of your middle finger. Now breathe to your center, so breathe through sternum, filling your heart with breath. And as you breathe out, as your heel of the hand is forward, glide your middle finger back, and release, taking hold of your first finger. As you breathe in, glide your thumb away from your little finger. And as you exhale, reach the fingers to the floor and release, taking hold of your thumb. As you breathe in, glide your thumb away from your index finger. And as you breathe out, fingers to the floor and release, change hands. Take hold of the little finger on your left hand and ease it back. Breathe in, as you breathe, spread, spread fingers wide. And as you breathe out, open the hands forward and release, taking hold of your ring finger. You're grounding down into your right sit bone. You breathe in and lift out of right side. Uh, you lift out of left side. And on exhale, glide your left shoulder away from your ear and release. 
taking hold of your middle finger and breathe to the back of heart, deep breath. And as you breathe out, glide your middle finger back, lengthen each finger away from the other and release, taking hold of your first finger. Now breathe and move your thumb away from your index finger. On exhale, glide your first finger back and release, taking hold of your thumb. On the inhale, glide your little finger away from your thumb and then lengthen each finger away down towards the floor. And on exhale, heel of the hand is forward and release. Change the cross of legs. Wrist stretch is stage two. So the hands are reaching forward. The fingertips are to the floor. Press into sit bone and breathe to lift out of your lower back. On the exhale, heel of the hand is pressing to the floor. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. As you breathe, you're lifting belly away from pelvis. Lift your diaphragm. On the exhale, open your hands as you reach the arms, the hand, a palm of the hands to the floor. Let your shoulders soften. And release, pushing the floor away, breathing as you come up. Wrist stretch in stage three. Your hands are reaching out to side, thumbs pointing skywards, fingers are lengthening away from you. Now breathe, breathe to palm of hands. Hold the breath, then one by one, bringing in your little finger, ring finger, middle finger, first finger, the thumb squeezes on top. You're squeezing all of the air out, and on exhale, the knuckles are stretching to the floor. You're opening out the tops of wrists. And release, reach your arms out to side, fingers pointing skywards, and then breathe to palm of hands. Hold the breath, then bring it in your thumb, and then simultaneously squeeze the thumb, all fingers. On exhale, stretch your thumb, stretch your thumb side away from you. And release, open the hands, thumbs pointing skywards, fingers are lengthening away from each other, and breathe to palm of hands. Hold the breath, one by one, bringing in your little finger, ring finger, middle finger, first finger, thumb squeezes on top. On exhale, stretch the knuckles to the floor. Release, reach your arms out, fingers pointing skywards, breathe into palm of hands. Hold the breath, then bring it in your thumb, and then simultaneously all other fingers squeeze the thumb. On exhale, stretch your thumb side away from you. Relax the shoulders and release. Roll the shoulders a couple of times. Pranayama today is alternate nostril breathing, two rounds on each side, and we'll do those in shoelace uh, pose. So bring your left foot over your right, just over the knee, and reach your heel away from you. Toes flex back. If you can, bring your right foot forward so that the right foot is under your left thigh knee. If that's a difficult reach, then have your left foot onto the right calf or the left foot onto the floor or onto a block. So any of those will work for you. So you're opening the hips. You don't want this into your, into your knee. Hold the first two fingers out of your right hand and use your right thumb to block your right nostril. Breathe in through your left nostril for five. Use your ring finger to block left nostril. Both nostrils are blocked. Hold, you're holding for 20. So your feet are active, your spine is long. If it's comfortable for you, close your eyes and just bring yourself fully into the moment. Exhale through your right nostril for 10. Breathe through your right nostril for five. Block 
both nostrils and hold the breath. Hold for 20. Keep your feet active, keeping your spine long, and staying very focused on where you are right now. Exhale through left nostril for 10. Then breathe through your left nostril for five. Lock both nostrils and hold. Hold for uh, 20. Exhale, right nostril, exhale for 10. Breathe through your right nostril for five. Lock both nostrils and hold for 20. So keep your feet active and stay focused. Don't allow yourself to be distracted. Exhale through left nostril, exhale for 10. And release, change the cross of your legs. Alternate nostril breathing, your right is over left. Make the adjustments so you feel this opening into hips, not into knees. Hold the first two fingers down of your uh, left hand and use your ring finger to block right nostril. Breathe through your left nostril for five. Lock both nostrils, you're holding for 20. Exhale through right nostril, exhale for 10. Breathe through your right nostril for five. Lock both nostrils, you're holding for 20. Exhale, left nostril for 10. Now breathe through your left nostril for five. Hold, you're holding for 20. Exhale, right for 10. Then breathe through your right for five. Lock both nostrils and hold for 20. Exhale, left for 10. And then release. Bring the soles of your feet together for a seated side bend in Balakad. So soles of your feet together, the toes, they flex back towards your shin. Bring your left hand by your left hip. And then reach your hand away, about 12 inches away from the hip. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. Press into left sit bone. As you breathe in, lift out of left side. And as you exhale, soften your left shoulder away from your ear. And then feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your left hand. Press down into your right sit bone. Breathe 
and reach your right arm straight up, spread the fingers. On exhale, reach your right arm over your right ear. Ground down into your sit bone and from coccyx, breathe to lift out of lower back. As you press your sit bone down on exhale, you reach your right arm over your ear. On the next breath, lift sternum, so lifting chest to chin. On exhale, lengthen your right thumb, stretch your right thumb away from things. Press down into left sit bones, breathe to lift out of left side. Keep lengthening your side ribs up as if they're moving to armpits. And as you exhale, lengthen your little finger of the right arm, reach it away from your ear, fingers are spread. Second arm position, just move the arm, breathe in and windmill your right arm down towards the side, keep reaching the arm away from you, so you feel the opening through the right side of the neck. And on exhale, relax your jaw. Now breathe to your center, breathe through sternum, lifting sternum, lift chest, On the exhale, soften the shoulders down. Your feet are active. Feel this right from coccyx as you breathe and lengthen the lower ribs up away from waist. Keep inhaling as you lift your mid ribs up and upper ribs up. On, on exhale, relax your right shoulder away from right ear. On the next breath, use your right arm, reach your right arm away from you, let the arm pull you up, and left hand, let your left arm support your head and neck as you come all the way on up. Other side, your right hand is by right hip, reach the hand directly away from the hip. Relax your right ear to the right shoulder. You can flatten your right hand to the floor. Press into your right sit bones, breathe and lift out to right side. And as you exhale, feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your right hand. Press into the left sit bones, breathe in, reach your left arm straight up, spread the fingers. And as you exhale, you're lengthening your left arm over left ear. On the next breath, lift your belly away from pelvis. On the next, on the next breath, reach. Feel your middle finger reaches over your left ear. Fingers are spreading. On the next breath, breathe right into the back of your heart. Feel this moving through the shoulder blades. On exhale, lengthen your left finger, little finger, reach it over your ear. Second arm position, breathe in and windmill your left arm down towards the left side. On exhale, relax your neck. Now breathe to the left side of your neck, deep breath. Feel for lengthening the left ear away from left shoulder. On exhale, relax your jaw, lower your chin slightly to the right side of your chest. Your sit bones are anchored to floor, so breathe in and lengthen up from there. Keep the chest lifted, but on the exhale, your shoulders are down. Use your left arm, breathe in, reach your left arm away, let the arm pull you up, and use your right hand to support your head and neck. You come all the way on up. Coming into your abdominal sequence, uh, starting with elbow to knee. So you lie down on your, on your back. Soles of your feet are onto the floor. Have a, have a roll uh, close by, you'll be doing uh, elbow to knee and then absolute roll. You lie down onto your back with soles of your feet onto the floor and your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. If, if your back is tweaky today, then keep your feet to the floor. And when you press your lower back to the floor, you inhale, you lift your head and shoulder blades up. You reach your elbows up, you squeeze your elbows in, and then pull your belly in. Belly's in at the end of the exhale. 
If you can go further, you lift one foot up. And if you can go further, straightening that leg away from the hip. Inhale to center and exhale, low head and shoulders down. If your back is not tweaky, lift both feet off the floor and your pose is lower back presses down. Inhale, you lift your head, shoulder blades up. You hold, you hold the breath. On exhale, as you curl the tailbone up, your elbows are to your left knee. You reach your right leg forward. Your belly pulls in at the end of the exhale. Inhale to center and exhale, lower head and shoulders down. Okay. So press your hands behind your head and neck. If your feet are coming off the floor, lift them off the floor, otherwise they stay down. Align your knees with your hips and reach your heels away from you. Everyone, starting now, press your lower back to floor, breathe in and lift your head and shoulder blades up. Now lift your chest, reach your elbows up and squeeze them in. Hold the breath. On exhale, curl the elbows up and your elbows are to your left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Spread the toes. Feel for lengthening each toe away from the other. Now pull your belly in at the end of the exhale and press your lower back to floor. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Your elbows are to your right knee. Reach your left leg forward. Lift your chest. Reach your elbows up. Now pull belly in. As your belly pulls in, reach your left thigh away from hip. Spread the toes. Inhale, coming back to center. Bend the knees. Hold the breath and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Your elbows are to your left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Now reach your left elbow up and feel as if you're squeezing your, your forearms towards each other. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back down. Reach your heels away from you. Exhale, curl the elbow up, your elbows are to right knee and reach your left leg forward. Reach your right elbow up, shoulder blades are off the floor. Relax your left hip, curl the elbow up, send your left thigh away from hip. Pull belly in, now belly's in, Pull your belly in and press your lower back to floor. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Your elbows are to your left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Lower your right thigh, lower your right heel about six inches and then move your thigh away from you as you reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale. Head to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and press the top root of the sacrum to floor. Exhale, curl the elbow up, your elbows are to right knee, and you reach in your left leg forward. Lower your left heel about six inches. Send your left thigh forward. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, press your lower back to the floor. And exhale. Release. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor and place the soles of your feet down. Twist the abs. Grab hold of your roll. Place the roll between your thighs. Your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. If you're back tweaking today, you can do this with your soles of your feet onto the floor. You can bend the knees and the knees are bent or straighten the legs. And if you have a wall, you can move to the wall so that the heels up against the wall, your sit bones will be fairly close to the wall. So all of those, if your back is tweaky, are, are options for you. Otherwise, your legs are reaching straight up. Your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. From here, press your lower back to floor. Feel as if you're lengthening low ribs away from sacrum. Breathe in, lift your head, shoulder blades up, and hold the breath. Exhale, curl the elbow up. Send your legs straight up and reach your elbows to your left knee. Now squeeze the roll. Squeeze sit bone to turbo. Stretch your legs straight up. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath 
and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the tailbone up, lengthen your legs straight up, reach your elbows to your right knee, squeeze, roll, squeeze, sit bones to the tailbone, send your legs straight up towards the sky, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. As you exhale, curl the tailbone up, send your legs straight up and reach your elbows to your left knee. Squeeze the roll, send your legs straight up, lift your chest, reach your elbows up. Now pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, hold the breath. Exhale, curl the tailbone up, reach your legs straight up, your elbows are to your right knee. Squeeze, roll, send your legs straight up, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, hold the breath, press your lower back to floor. And exhale, release, lower your head and shoulders to floor and place the soles of your feet down to the floor. As we keep hold of the roll, the roll between your thighs, your next pose is bridge, bridge with the roll. You can also, do, if you have a wall, you can also do bridge with the roll up against the wall. So I'll show you both of those poses that you can do. So if you're doing bridge uh, on the floor, you're reaching down with fingertips and brushing heels with fingertips. Heels aligned with sit bones or hip distance, and then relax your arms by your side. The shoulders, the roll is between your thighs. From here, your feet presses down, you breathe in telescoping the ribs as you move belly away from pelvis, side ribs away from hips. On exhale, you lift up and squeeze the roll. You stay here uh, and I'll keep you in the pose. If, you're, if you have a wall close by, then you can do this pose with your feet up against the wall, which is my preference actually. So your feet are up against the wall, your roll is between your thighs, or a block is also can work in the same way. So you set your feet up, my feet are about two, two feet away from the floor, arms are down by your side. Uh, I'm going to place a block between my, my uh, thighs, lower back pressures to the floor, breathe in, move belly away from pelvis. On exhale, tilt pelvis and lift it up. Bending the thighs and knees forward, keeping the arms relaxed, keeping the neck relaxed. And then breathe as you breathe, you're moving belly away from pelvis, chest to chin. And as you exhale, as you tilt pelvis, you're lifting up and you're opening into your lower back. So any of those is your pose today, either bridge on the wall or bridge on the floor. Now breathe as you breathe, feel your ribs as they open wide to side. And as you exhale, tilt pelvis, feel as if you're pushing the floor away, pelvis as if it reaches up towards the sky. Squeeze the block or squeeze the roll. Feel the energy that's now generating. Feel for pressing your heels down and then breathe in, lift up, push the floor away. Now exhale, draw chest to chin, send your thighs and knees opposite direction. Relax completely, relax your neck, relax your jaw. Your feet, press it down, and then breathe, lengthen up. And exhale as your pelvis tilts, lift up a little bit more, feel as if your pubic bone is reaching to sky. As you breathe, breathe into your spot. And as you exhale, push the floor away as you lift up, send the thighs and knees in the opposite directions to hips. Taking one more breath here, inhale. And on exhale, tilt pelvis, lower your upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis, lower mid back to floor. Tilt pelvis as you lower all the way on down to the floor. Keeping the tilt until you're down. If you have a wall close by, your next pose is twisted root with your feet up against the wall. Your right foot stays onto the wall, your left foot comes over your right 
And then if you can tuck your, if you can make the second cross, your left ankle is under the right calf. This is twisted root stage two. So bring your hands onto your left thigh, press your lower back to floor, and then breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. So if you don't have a wall that you're able to use, then do this pose with the feet onto the floor in this way. So now breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. Hold the breath. On exhale, curl pubic bone to navel. So you're curling your tailbone up and you press your hands against the thighs, thighs against the hands. Now squeeze thighs and pull your belly in. Feel this, your belly pulls in. Your diaphragm will spread. Keep the shoulders on the floor, keep the neck relaxed. Breathe into lower back. Hold the breath. On exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs, thighs against the hand. Your right foot is pressing against the wall. Keep feeling for this opening into belly, into lower back, but relax your throat, relax your shoulders. Keep moving belly away from your left thigh. And then relax, last one in this. Take a deep breath into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. On exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs, thighs against hands. Your right foot is pressing against the wall. Keep the neck relaxed. Keep the shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Keep pulling belly in away from your left thigh. And release. Change the cross of your leg. Your right foot, your right leg is over the left. And if you can make the second cross, make the second cross. Place your hands on the midpoint of your right thigh. Your lower back is anchored to the floor. Breathe to lower back and spread the ribs. On exhale, as you curl tailbone up, you press your hands against the thighs, thighs against hands, squeeze thighs. Pull belly in, press your left foot to the floor, pull belly in. Relax pelvis. Now breathe into lower back, spreading ribs to floor. On exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs, thighs against hands, squeeze thighs, pull belly in, feet are active, pull belly in. Keep the neck relaxed and the shoulders down away from your ears. Relax pelvis. And breathe to lower back, spreading ribs to floor. On exhale, curl tailbone up and press hands against the thighs, thighs against hands. Squeeze thighs, pull belly in. And inhale, release. Roll to your right side. Bring your left hand down to the floor by your chest. Breathe in. On exhale, push the floor away with your left hand as you come up and use your right hand to support your head and neck. Come onto knees for dolphin. So in your dolphin pose, your hands are onto your biceps to measure your distance. Your elbows are to the floor directly under the shoulders. You can clasp your hands in this way, especially if your shoulders are a little bit creased today. Reach your hands forward and spread the fingers or clasp your hands. Keep the neck completely relaxed. So look at your, your knees or your own toes. And then breathe into upper back, lift, spread back, curl your toes under. On exhale, Push the floor away with your forearms and lift your knees off the floor. Now breathe to sternum, deep breath, filling heart with breath. Use your forearms on exhale, push the floor away, reach your sit bones back. On your next breath as you breathe, feel for moving belly away from pelvis. On exhale, send your sit bones back, Reach your heels to floor. Broaden the back ribs with the breath, deep breath, feeling this, 
right between your shoulder blades. And exhale, feel as if you're leaning back. So you reach your sit bones back, heels are reaching to floor. Working with one leg up, press your right foot to floor. Breathe in, lift your left leg up. On exhale, reach it back, spread the toes. Sending left thigh away from pelvis. On exhale, send that left leg straight back, reach it up, reach it back. On the next breath, as you breathe, send your left thigh away from left hip. On exhale, lower your left foot to floor. Left foot is to floor, anchor into left foot. Breathe in, lift your right leg up. On exhale, reach it back, spread the toes. Breathe to right hip, feel for moving right thigh bone away from pelvis. On exhale, reach it back. One more breath in, deep breath, inhale, keep sending your right thigh away from hip. On exhale, lower your right foot to floor. Bend the knees and come all the way down. And take a breath in embryo. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Let your arms relax down by your side. And give yourself a moment to notice how your body feels right now. And then from there, coming up to stand, standing at the front of your mats for salutations. If your knees are tweaky, then pat your mat so that you have some protection for your knees. And then stand with your feet together. If your back feels tweaky today, bring your feet a little bit wider so that your feet, they hit distance apart. On exhale, bring your hands together by your chest. Your feet, they're pressing to the floor. And as you breathe in, reach your arms out of, up towards the sky. Telescoping room. Keep the length. On exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. Lunge, inhale, step your left leg back. Bend your left knee. Have the knee if you need, then push the floor away as you reach your arms out and up towards the sky. On exhale, hands down, step your right leg back, foot back. Reach back to heels. From here, bend the knees. On exhale, lower down, tuck the elbows in, lower down, keep drawing chest in. Cobra, inhale. You're moving your chest and ribs forward. You're lengthening your legs back. Look at your own chest so your neck relaxes in the pose. Exhale, release, slow down, press it back, downward facing dog. Lunge, breathing, step your left foot forward between the hands. Place your right knee to the floor, and push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. On exhale, hands down, step forward for forward bend. Keep the neck relaxed, and as you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. On exhale, lengthen through the spine as you fold. Feet presses down, breathe in, stand up. Reach your arms up towards the sky. On exhale, hands together by chest. Clear pose, bend the knees. As you breathe in, sweep your arms out and up. Lift your chest, but reach your sit bones back. On exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. On exhale, step or hop it back into plank. Reach back to the heels, push the floor away and then lower down, you can bend the knees. Cobra, inhale, draw your chest down, ribs forward. You can move your hands forward. So move your chest forward, lengthen your legs back, sit bones, tuck the heels. On exhale, release, go down, readjust, hands under the shoulders, breathe in, toes under and exhale. Lengthen through the spine, reach your sit bones back, heels are reaching to floor. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your left foot forward for warrior one. Left foot is by left hand, right foot is towards the right edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms out and up towards the sky. On exhale, hands down, 
Step back to plank. Reach back to heels. On exhale, lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Wrap the shoulders if you can, the feels as if you're closing your armpits. Warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot by the right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Push the floor away, you're reaching your arms out and up. On exhale, hands down, step back for plank. Reach back to heels. Exhale, lower down. Keep the elbows tucked in. Keep reaching heels away from you. Cobra, inhale. Move your chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press back. Downward facing dog. Bend the knees. Inhale, step or hop. Put your legs between the hands. Exhale, forward bend. Belly zip. Feet presses to the floor. Breathe and stand up. Lift the chest. Chair pose, reach the sit bones back. Exhale, stand hands together by chest. Press your feet to floor, inhale, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, belly's in. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back. Bend your right knee, place your left knee to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back to heels. Exhale, lower down. Cobra, inhale. Move chest, ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in. Step your right foot forward between the hands. Left knee is to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step forward, forward bend. On the breath, breathe to move belly away from pelvis. Forward bend, lengthen through the spine. Your forehead comes down towards your shins or ankles. On the breath, stand up, push the floor away as you're reaching your arms to the sky. On exhale, hands together by chest. Chair pose, bend the knees. Breathe and sweep your arms up, but reach your sit bones back. Lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. Inhale, move your belly away from pelvis, chest away from thighs and knees. Flatten your hands to floor, breathe out, step, or hop it back to plank. Lower down, and then stop. Reach your heels away from you, push the floor away. Lower down, and then inhale, roll over the toes for upward dog. Knees are off the floor, thighs are off the floor. Keep reaching your chest forward, but sending your sit bones back to heels. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your left foot by left hand, right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you reach your arms up. Push the floor away with both legs as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down and step back for plank. Reach back to heels. Exhale, lower down, stop. Keep tuck the elbows in, reach your heels back. Lower down and then breathe into upward dog. Move chest forward. Lengthen your legs back, sit bones, touch the heels. On exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot by right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Sweep your arms up, push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step back for plank. Reach back to heels. On exhale, lower down. Breathe to cobra or upward facing dog. Move chest forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. On the breath, bend the knees, breathe in, step or hop, put your legs between the hands. Exhale, fold forward, lengthen through the spine, keep the neck relaxed. On the breath, breathe in, bend the knees, lift your head, lift your chest, reach your arms up. Exhale, stand and hands together by chest. Coming into a uh, three pose vignettes, um, starting from chair pose. So bend the knees, breathe in, sweep your arms out and up, lift your chest, reach your sit bones back. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. On the breath, move your chest away from thighs and knees. Exhale, step, or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keep the elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale, move chest, ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back. 
downward facing dog, push and throw away in downward dog. Warrior one, uh, warrior two, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands. Your right foot is squared to the short edge of the mat. Reach your arms out to the side. Bend the front knee and then push the floor away with your left foot. Feel that you're reaching back to the edge of your right foot. Pick both feet, press this to the floor, breathe in, lift up. And as you exhale, go in a little deeper, feel as if you're moving your thighs away from each other. Press down with the little toe side of your left foot so your knee does not turn inwards. Keep the, keep the pelvis open as you're in the pose. Eagle warrior, inhale, bring your left arm over the right and bind the hands. And as you exhale, glide your shoulders back and down. Feet presses the floor, breathe in, lift belly, lift the hand from lift chest. On exhale, be anchored, but reach your forearms forward. Now breathe the sternum, deep breath, filling your heart with breath. And as you breathe out, glide your arm bones back and then let your shoulders soften away from your ears. Reverse warrior, breathe in, release your arms out to side. Press your right foot to floor, breathe in, reach your right arm up. And on exhale, reverse. The right hand is below or above the knee. Your left arm reaches up and over your ear. If your back feels creaky, you bring your right hand higher up onto the hip. You can slide your right arm all the way around, tucking it onto your left side by here. Press into your left foot, breathe in, lift out of left side. And as you press your right foot to floor, reach your left arm over ear. Keep lengthening side ribs away from right hip. Press into both feet and breathe in, lift belly. Now lift sternum. On exhale, lengthen your thumb, left thumb away from you. Now breathe, breathe into your side ribs, left side ribs, intercostal muscles, use this breath to open them. And as you exhale, lengthen your left little finger, reach it over your ear. Both, all fingers are spreading. On the next breath, use your left arm to pull your body up. Right hand supports your head and neck. Your next pose today is head to ankle prep. Your left hand is onto left thigh, your traction of your thigh away from you. Your right hand reaches towards your right foot. Try not to allow your knee to turn inwards. You're moving your thigh out towards the left. So press into your left foot and balloon the breath into left hips. On the exhale, glide, use your left hand to guide your left thigh towards the left. You're bringing your forehead towards your right ankle. Breathe into your left side ribs, deep breath, opening the, breath, opening the ribs with breath. And as you breathe out, glide your left thigh towards the left, your forehead's moving to right. Feel the strength in your feet and legs, and then breathe in, move belly away from pelvis. On exhale, traction in your left thigh to left, bringing your forehead so your intercostal muscles are opening on the left side. Inhale, release. Hands to either side of your left foot. Step back for plank. Feel for pushing the floor away. Reach back to heels, hands on the shoulders. Exhale, lower down. Keep elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest twist forward as you lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, turbo dog. Elbows are bent, squeeze your elbows in. Feel the wrapping of the shoulders. From here, on the next breath as you breathe, step your right leg forward between the hands for warrior two. Your arms are reaching out to the side, bend the front knee. Press down with the little toe side of your right foot so knee does not turn inwards. Keep moving the thighs away from each other. Eagle warrior. As you breathe in, bring your right arm over left and bind the hands. And as you breathe out, glide your shoulders back. Press into both feet and as you breathe in, lift sternum. And as you breathe out, raise your elbows up and reach the forearms forward. So feel this opening from back of heart. Now breathe to the back of your heart, deep breath. And as you exhale, glide your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, release, your arms out to the side, warrior two. 
Press into your left foot, breathing. Reach your left arm straight up. And as you exhale, reverse. The left hand is now below or above the knee. Your right arm reaches up. It reaches over your ear. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. If your back is creaky, bring your left hand high up onto the hip. Or you can slide the left hand towards the right hip. Press your left foot to floor. And then breathe in, lengthen out of left side. And as you press your right foot to the floor, you're reaching your right arm over right ear. Breathe in and lengthen the ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, as you curl pubic bone to navel, opening into mid, lower, and upper back. On the next breath, breathe to sternum, chest lifts. And on the exhale, relax your left ear to left shoulder. Use your right arm breathing to pull your body up and use your left hand to support your head and neck. But move straight into head to ankle press. Your right hand is onto your right thigh. Try not to have it onto the knee. Your left hand is moving towards your left foot, towards your ankle. Press into your right foot and breathe in. Glide your ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, use your hand, right hand to traction your right thigh towards the right. You're bringing your forehead towards left ankle. Now breathe to your spot. Breathe to where you feel this most. And as you exhale, you glide your right thigh towards the right. On the next breath, feel this right from your pelvic bowl as you move belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, glide your right thigh towards the right, bring forehead towards left hand. Inhale, release. Walk your hands forward either side of your right foot. Step your left leg back for plank. Sorry, step your right leg back for plank. And reach back to heels. Exhale, lower down, keep elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Exhale, press it back for downward dog. Bend the elbows, do turbo dog. Wrap the shoulders, squeeze your elbows in. Keep the neck relaxed. Look at your own toes. Now as you breathe in, broaden the upper back with breath. On exhale, push the floor away, squeeze your elbows in. On the next breath, bend the knees, step or hop your legs between the hands. On exhale, forward bend. Lengthen through the spine. Chair pose, bend the knees, breathe in, sweep your arms up, lift your chest, and on exhale, come up to stand. Your next pose is Bakasana. So bring your feet a little bit wider on, on your mat, and then you're going to bring your hands uh, together by chest. So bring your feet a bit wider, about the width of your mat, turn your toes out. And then you're coming down into a squat position. If you can, tuck your elbows in. So, so your elbows are sliding down the inside of your thighs. Your feet are anchored to the floor. So press your feet down to the floor. And as you breathe in, lengthen your side ribs up away from hips. And as you exhale, sit bones reaches to the floor, keeping chest lifted. Feet anchored to floor, breathe in, lift belly, lift up and lift chest. And as you exhale, feel as if you're moving your thighs out with your, you're using arms to move your thighs out, but you're squeezing your thighs onto your triceps. One, like, one more like this, sit feet, presses to floor, breathe in, feel as if you're lifting belly down from the chest. Now exhale, sit bones are reaching down, keep the chest lifted, squeeze your thighs onto triceps, triceps onto thighs. From here, your hands are to the floor. You can come up, uh, so I'm just going to rock forward. I'm onto the, my toes now, and I'm lifting one foot away from the floor, the other foot away from the floor. Then bringing feet together at the back. So that's one version. The other, slightly more challenging, is tucking uh, knee into armpit. Hands are to the floor, rising up onto uh, toes, breathe in. And on exhale, folding forward, lifting up one foot, and then lift up, and then bring your feet together. Keep pushing the floor away with the hands.
And if you get into that, do five breaths or up to five breaths. If you're not quite there, you can use a block here. So I'm using the block center. And both feet are onto the block. A turn this way, you might see this. So both feet are onto the block, onto the block. I'm tucking my hands are under the shoulders. I'm tucking my knees into armpits and then lifting one foot up and feel the weight. And then the foot comes down, the other foot comes up and then keep alternating until you have sufficient confidence to come up. One down, one up and switch and switch and switch and then come up. Really work deep into your abdominal muscles in this pose to help you. You're not getting up, then stay in the squat. Yeah, good, good, Carolina, good. Good, Anya. Yeah. Nice, Clint. Really feel when you're sucking, it's as if you're sucking the energy up, feeling this right from your perineum as you suck it up. And then from there, once you're done, step into downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands for extended warrior. So your left foot is stepped forward, your right heel is towards the floor. You can be on the ball of your right foot. Your left hand is to the floor by your left foot. Your left hand could also be on a block. You're sweeping your right arm up towards the sky. So you press your left foot to the floor. As you breathe in, glide your ribs forward away from left hip. And as you reach back into the edge of your right foot, reach your right arm straight up towards the sky. Now breathe, as you breathe, keep gliding your side ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, glide your left hip back as you reach your right arm up. On the next breath, broaden the back ribs with the breath. On the exhale, wrap your right shoulder as you reach your right arm over your right ear. Feel this right from your right heel all the way to fingertips. Now breathe to sternum, deep breath. And on the exhale, lengthen your left thumb away from you, your right thumb away from you. Now breathe into lower back as you're lengthening out of lower back. And as you exhale, as you reach your sit bones back, send your little finger of the right hand forward, spread all fingers. One more like this, deep breath. On exhale, release, bring your hands to the floor and place your right knee down to the floor. Lounge, lounge. Bring your right hand forward about 10, 12 inches ahead of the shoulder. Your left hand is tractioning your left thigh forward. Reach back into your right leg, and as you breathe, lengthening the ribs forward on your right side. Press your left foot to the floor as you arc your chest towards the inside of left thigh. As you breathe, lengthen out of lower back. As you breathe out, move your chest closer towards your left leg. Press your left foot to the floor, and then breathe and move your belly forward, diaphragm chest, keep moving these forward. Now continue to move these forward as you move your chest closer towards your left thigh, reach your right leg back. Now one more breath, balloon the breath into your right side ribs. And as you exhale, coming closer towards your left thigh. Inhale, release. Hands are under the shoulders. Is your left foot back slightly? as you're setting up and twisting lungs. Your left hand onto left thigh, breathe in, reach your right arms up. 
And as you breathe out, your right elbow is over your left thigh knee. Hands into prayer position where you can make a fist or you can make a nice little flower. As you breathe in, lengthen your right ribs away from right hip. Press your left foot to the floor as you twist away from your left thigh. Breathe to sternum, filling your heart with breath. And as you exhale, glide your left shoulder away from your left knee. One more like this, breathe. Feel as if you're lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, glide both shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, release. Hands either side of your uh, left leg. Hands under the shoulder, step back for plank. Feel for pushing the floor away. Reach back to heels. Tuck your elbows in. Exhale, lower down. You're pushing the floor away as you lower down. Flash your hands behind your back for both. Now breathe in and lift your head, lift your chest, and lift your legs. Reach your legs back, spread the toes, move your chest forward, Keep lengthening your legs away from you. Exhale, release, lower down. Your hands under the shoulders, breathe to lower back and curl toes under. On exhale, press back for downward facing dog. Let your feet in a couple of inches and then reach your heels away from you. You want to go further, bend the elbows, do turbo dog squeeze, squeeze your elbows in. Extended, uh, extended warrior, breathe in. Step your right foot forward between the hands. Your right hand is onto the floor by your right foot. That right hand could be on a block. We pin your left arm out and up towards the sky. Now breathe in, press into your right foot, lengthen your ribs away from right hip. And as you exhale, reach back to the edge of your left foot. Reach your left arm straight up to sky. As you breathe, breathe to sternum. You're moving your chest forward. And as you exhale, send your sit bones back. On the next breath, as you breathe in, wrap your left shoulder as you reach your left arm straight forward over your head. And as you exhale, glide your left shoulder down away. You're wrapping the shoulder. Feel this, press your front foot, your right foot to floor. And as you breathe, feel as if you're lifting belly away from thigh. And as you exhale, as you lengthen your left arm forward, your sit bones are reaching back towards your left heel. Inhale, release. Bring your hands to the floor, place your left knee down to the floor. Next pose is lounge lounge. So your left hand, it reaches forward about 12 inches ahead of the shoulder. Right hand tractions your right thigh forward. Reach back to your left leg, breathe in, lengthen through the left side of the body. And as you breathe out, your arc and chest to the inside of your right thigh. Press your right foot to floor, and then breathe in, move your belly away from pelvis. And as you exhale, as you move your chest closer towards your right thigh, glide your right hip back. Breathe to lower back, keep lengthening side ribs away from left hip. And as you exhale, send your left leg back as you draw sternum closer towards your right leg. Inhale, release. Hands are under the shoulders, step your, just ease your right foot back slightly as you set up for twisting lunge. Right hand is onto right thigh, breathe in, reach your left arm straight up, spread the fingers. And on the exhale, bring your left elbow over the right thigh knee. Make a fist or hands in the prayer position. Relax your left knee to left shoulder. Press into your left shin and then breathe in. Glide your left ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, as you twist towards the right, glide your right hip back. Try to relax your neck even more. And now breathe to sternum. Feel you're filling your heart with breath. And as you breathe out, as your belly pulls in, feel as if you're sending your right sit bone towards your right heel. Breathe to your spot, deep breath. And as you exhale, opening towards the right, glide your right hip back. Inhale, release. Bring your hands down either side of your front foot. You need a roll 
uh, for your next pose. So your next pose is cobra push-ups over the roll. The roll is under your belly. You're lying down over the roll. Your hands are under the shoulders and the tops of your feet are onto the floor. In this pose, you press the tops of your feet to the floor. Use your belly breathing to come up and move your chest forward. Coming up as high as you can, but don't strain your back. So you're lengthening out of bow back. You're not crunching. So it's not about how high you get. Is you're working with the lengthening. So you're releasing lower back, mid and upper back. Keep moving your chest forward. Keep lengthening your legs back. Tuck your elbows in. Reach your elbows towards your hips. Two more breaths. Keep moving belly away as if your belly's moving away from the roll. Deep breath. Inhale. Lengthen out of lower back. And exhale. Release. Go down. Bring your hands under the shoulders. Breathe to lower back and curl toes under. And exhale. Press it back. Put downward facing dog. Move the roll out of your way. On the next breath, arrow lunge. Breathe in. Step your left foot forward between the hands. Keep the hands either side of your right foot. Release your right foot so that the knee is off the floor and the toes are not curled under. Lift your right knee off the floor. So this might be your pose today. If this is your pose, you're pressing into your uh, right shin as you breathe in and lengthen in the wrist forward. And as you breathe out, press your left foot to the floor, send your sit bones back. If you're going further, your hands are onto your left thigh. You're traction in your left thigh forward whilst reaching your right leg back. If you're going further, reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Press into your left foot, breathe in, feel as if you're lifting belly away from the thigh. And as you exhale, go a little deeper, reach back. The back of your right calf, the back of your right thigh is reaching to sky. Now breathe to heart, deep breath. Push the floor away with your left foot on exhale. Breathe to your spot, deep breath. On exhale, release. Bring your hands to the floor. From here, ease your left foot back about two, maybe three inches. Curl the toes under of your right foot. Lift your right knee off the floor and reach back into right heel. Lunge with your back toes curled under. Bring your hands onto your left thigh if you're going further. And if you're going further still, uh, cl uh, clasp your hands. So clasp your hands behind. So the thumbs are, are either side of the spinal column. Heel of the hands touch the sacrum down. Reach back into your right heel and then breathe in length and out of lower back. And as you exhale, feel as if you're bending your right knee as you lift your chest. Reach your elbows back, squeeze your elbows in. Press into your left foot and then breathe in. Feel as if you're lifting away from left thigh. And as you breathe out, lift your chest. Squeeze your elbows back. Press back into your right heel as you breathe. Keep lengthening out of lower back. On exhale, release. Bring your hands down to the floor and place your uh, right knee down to the floor. So from here, you're stepping back. Yeah, step, no, no step back. You're reaching up, missed, missed, missed the pose. You're coming back into, your right hand is reaching back. Bend your right knee, take hold of the foot. Touch your right knee if needed. And then breathe in the belly. And as you exhale, reach your right heel away from you. Use your left hand to traction your thigh away from hips. Now breathe in, lift sternum. And as you exhale, as you go in a little deeper, you're reaching your right heel back. One more like this. Keep lengthening out of lower back. Exhale, release. Bring your hands down either side of your left foot. Step your left leg back for plank. Reach back to heels on exhale, lower down, keep elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen legs back, keep the elbows tucked in and the shoulders down. On exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Pushing the floor away in downward dog. 
Arrow lunge, breathing step, your right foot forward between the hands. Release your left foot. Lift your left knee off the floor, straighten that leg. You can stay here, or if you want to go further, the hands are onto your right thigh, traction your right thigh forward. If you want to go further, reaching your arms out and up towards the skin. Press into your right foot, breathe in, push the floor away as you lift up. And as you exhale, as you go a little deeper, reach back, press into the top of your left foot. Now breathe in, lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, feel the energy as you spread the fingers, reach them up. Breathe to stir on deep breath. On exhale, go in a little deeper. The back of your left thigh, the back of your left calf is as if it's shining to the sky. Inhale, release, hands down. And then place your left knee to the floor. Curl the toes under of your left foot and then lift your left knee off the floor, reach back to left heel. Bring your hands onto your right thigh, traction your right thigh forward. If you're going further, reach your arms up and then reach them back. Thumbs on, uh, on the, uh, just the side of the spinal column, heel of the hands tucks the sacrum down. Press into your right foot, breathe in, lift the belly away from thigh. On exhale, reach back into your right, left heel, reaches away from you. As you breathe, feel as if you're lengthening out of lower back. And as you breathe out, curl pubic bone to navel, reach back into your left heel. One more breath like this, deep breath, sternum is lifting. Exhale, release, hands down, place your uh, left knee to the floor. Ease your right foot back a couple of inches. Pad your left knee. Left, right hand is on to right thigh, reach your left arm back, bend the left knee, grab hold of the ankle. Lunge back, bend, grabbing the back ankle. Now breathe in as you lift up. And as you exhale, as you fold a little deeper, reach your left heel away from you. Breathe to sternum, deep breath. And as you exhale, go a little deeper and then reach, reach your left heel back. Two more breaths. Lengthening out of lower back. And as you exhale, feel as if you're gliding your right thigh away from you. Inhale, release, release your back foot, hands either side of your front foot. Step back, step it back for plank. And then lower down, keeping the elbows tucked in as you lower down. From here, press your hands down. From here, pre you to wave dancer. So your hands are under the shoulders, you're lengthening your legs back, the tops of your feet presses to the floor. From here, inhale, draw your chest and wrist forward, lengthen your legs back. And then exhale, lower down, three more like this. Breathe in, move your chest and wrist forward, lengthen your legs back, keep lengthening out of lower back. And as you breathe out, lower down. Tuck tailbones, breathe in. Draw your chest and reach forward. Your legs are lengthening back. Ankles as if they're squeezing towards each other. And exhale, lower down. One more, breathe in. Move your chest and reach forward. Lengthen your legs back, elbows to reach back to hips. And exhale, release, slow down. Hands are under the shoulders. Breathe to lower back and curl toes under. And exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in your downward dog. Wrap the shoulders, bend the elbows, turbo dog, if you want to go further. Your next pose is Lance Dodger. So inhale, step your left foot forward for warrior one. Left foot is by left hand, right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Push the floor away as you rise your arms out and up towards the sky. Bring your right hand back behind the back of the skull. Your left arm is tucking the sacrum down. Press into your right leg. As you breathe in, lengthen out of right side, reach your right elbow up. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your left foot, lift the sternum. Your left forearm is onto the sacrum. So press down into both legs, breathe to lengthen out of low back, sternum is lifting. And as you breathe out, reach your right elbow up, feels as if it opens your armpits. Now breathe, breathe to heart, deep breath. And as you exhale, push the floor away, keep lengthening out of lower back. 
feel for both feet to anchor to the floor, feel the assurity of the earth, and then breathe in, lift up from there. And exhale, release. From here, twisting, twisting, war uh, twisting warrior. Twisting lounge, actually. So bend your left knee, so bend your right knee. Bring your twisting lunge into lock. So bring your right arm over your left, and then the left arm is around the back. Bind the hands under your left thigh, or use a strap to bind, or use clothing. Pressing into your right shin, breathe to lengthen your ribs away from right hip. And as you press your left foot to the floor, roll chest open to left. Now breathe as you breathe, feel as if you're moving belly away from pelvis. On exhale, glide your right shoulder away from your knee. Relax your neck and then breathe to the left side of your neck. On exhale, push the floor away with your left foot. One more breath, breathe to sternum. And exhale, release. From here, cradling the brain in lunge. So your hands, they reach up, they're clasping the back of your head. Your thumb is uh, right down by your occipital uh, nerve, occipital bone. Lift your chest, reach your elbows up, and then reach them back. Press back into your right shin, and then breathe and lift out of lower back. And as you breathe out, push the floor away with your left foot as you lift your chest. As you breathe, feel as you're spreading the back ribs. And as you breathe out, reach your elbows up, keep the chest lifted. Now breathe to sternum, deep breath. On exhale, push the floor away with your left foot. Reach your elbows up and keep lengthening out of lower, mid and upper back. One more like this, deep breath. Exhale, release, come on up. Bring your hands down either side of your front foot. Step back for plank. You're reaching back to heels. On exhale, lower down, keep the elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale. Draw chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Ankles as if they're squeezing towards each other. On exhale, release, lower down, curl toes under and press it back down with facing down. On the next breath, lunge, dodge your breathing step. Your right foot forward by your right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat. You push the floor away as you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Reach your left arm up, bend the elbow, reach it back. Take a hold of the back of the uh, stolen leg. Left, right arm is around the back. Four arms touch the sacrum down. Press into your left leg, breathing lengthen out of left side as you reach your elbow up. And as you press your right foot to the floor, keep Tucking your, like as if you're curling pubic bone to navel. And as you breathe, lift sternum. And as you breathe out, push the floor away with both legs. Keep the spine long. Breathe to your spot, deep breath. And as you exhale, reach it, that left elbow up. Breath in, inhale. Exhale, release, come up. Bring your hands down either side of your right foot, place your left knee to the floor. Twisting lunge, interlock, you might need a strap. You're bringing your left elbow over your right, sliding under, the right arm is around the back, bind the hands, or use a strap or clothing to bind. And as you press into your left shin, breathe to glide your left ribs, left ribs away from left hip. Press your right foot to the floor as you twist to the right. Now breathe to sternum, draw chest forward. On exhale, glide your right shoulder away from your right ear. Try to relax your neck. Now feel this right into lower back, into sacrum, and then breathe from there, lighting this area up with your breath, feeding this area. And then push the floor away with your right foot on exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, 
release. From here, training the brain in lunge. So you're clasping your hands behind your head and neck. You press into your left shin, breathe in, lift out to the left side. And as you breathe out, reach your elbows up and then bring them a little bit wider. Press into your right foot, breathe in, lift belly and lift sternum, lift diaphragm. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your right foot. Press into your left shin and then keep lengthening out of lower back. On exhale, reach your elbows up, reach them up, reach them out slightly to the side. Soften chest and then breathe there, deep breath, feeding your heart with breath. On exhale, going a little deeper, push the floor away with your right foot. Inhale, release. Your hands are down either side of your platform. Your next pose, you'll need a roll. It's called a push-ups with a roll. So the roll will be between, between your thighs. And your the roll is between your thighs. You lie down into your belly, the hands on the shoulders. In this pose, keep the neck relaxed. Tops of the feet presses the floor. Tuck tailbones, breathe in. Tuck tailbones and squeeze the roll. And then breathe in, move your chest and reach forward. Draw the chest forward, lengthen your legs back, squeeze your elbows in. And as you exhale, lower down. Keep moving chest and reach forward, all the way to the floor. Tuck tailbones, squeeze the roll. And as you breathe in, move your chest and reach forward. Your legs are lengthened back. And as you breathe out, lower down. Keep moving chest and ribs forward. Tuck tailbone, squeeze the roll. As you breathe in, move your chest and ribs forward. Draw your chest forward, reach your elbows back to hips. And as you exhale, lower down. One more. Tuck tailbone, squeeze the roll. Breathe in and move your chest and ribs forward. Your legs are lengthening back. And on exhale, lower down. Bring your hands under the shoulders. And you breathe into lower back, toes are curled under. On exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Move the roll out of your way. From here, coming down onto knees. Your next pose today is elbow to knee with back traction. So lie down onto your back. Your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. If your back is tweaky, do this with feet onto the floor. So your pose will be feet on the floor, your lower back presses down. Inhale, you lift your head and shoulder blades up away from the floor. You hold the breath. On the exhale, as you curl the elbow up, your elbows are to your left knee. You place your right hand onto the right thigh. You crash your thigh away from you whilst reaching your left elbow up and your belly pulls in. Then inhale to center, lower head and shoulders down, and then you come up, so you reach your, your traction in this way. You're moving thigh bone away as you reach your elbow up. So that's if your back is tweaky or discomfort in your back. Otherwise, your feet are off the floor, your knees are bent. Your pose is inhale. Everyone's pose will do this together. Press your lower back to floor. Inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl the tailbone up and reach your elbows to your left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Place your right hand onto right thigh by hip crease. Now curl the tailbone up and traction your right thigh out. Reach out, spread the toes. Reach your left elbow up. Now pull belly in. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Place your hands behind your head and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the tailbone up. Your elbows are to right knee and reach your left leg forward. Left hand is onto left thigh by hip crease. Curl tailbone up, send your left thigh forward. Reach your right elbow up, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and place your hands behind your head. Press your lower back to floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows into your uh, left knee, and reach your right leg forward. Right hand is onto thigh by hip crease. Curl tailbone up, traction your right thigh forward, reach your left elbow up, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, 
Bend the knees, hold the breath, your hands behind your head. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to your right knee and reach your left leg forward. Left hand is onto left thigh by hip crease. Curl tailbone up, traction your left thigh forward, spread the toes, reach your right elbow up, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, bend the knees, hold the breath and press, place your hands behind your head. And exhale, release, lower down. Place your feet to the floor and set up for back release. Bring your, keep your right foot to the floor, lift your left foot up and hook your left foot over your right thigh. You're reaching out with your heels. From here, lift, hands are down by your side. Lift your right foot off the floor and draw the right knee towards the chest. Slide your left arm between the triangle that you've created and then clasp your hands either behind your right thigh or some of you will be able to take hold of your chin. Keep your head and shoulders to the floor and relax your neck. Now breathe into lower back, deep breath, spreading ribs to floor. On exhale, draw your right knee towards your right shoulder. Try not to have, draw your right thigh towards the shoulder. Try not to have your hands onto knees. Protect your knees. Reach out with your heels. So the feet are active. Now breathe, breathe into lower back, spread ribs to floor. Keep the neck long and on the exhale, pull your belly in. You're drawing your left, your right knee towards your right shoulder. Keep gliding your left thigh away from hip. So you'll feel this into lower back. You may feel this into glutes, even hamstrings. One more like this, deep breath. Now exhale, pull your belly in. You're drawing your right knee towards right shoulder. Feet are active. Keep sending the thighs away from you. And then release and change. Your right foot is over the left, reach out with your heels. You're sliding your right arm between the triangle and take hold of the back of your left uh, thigh or take hold of your shin, just below the knees. Reach out with the heels. Feet are active. Keep the neck and shoulders relaxed. Shoulders, are, uh, the, your head is on the floor. Now breathe into lower back and spread ribs to the floor. On exhale, pull your belly in and draw your left knee towards your chest, towards your left shoulder. Both feet are active. Pull your belly in. And then relax your lower back and then breathe there. Deep breath. On the exhale, pull your belly in and draw your left knee towards your left shoulder. Feel as if you're gliding your right thigh away from your hip. Keep pulling the belly in. Keep pressing your lower back down. Relax your neck. One more like this, deep breath. And then on exhale, draw the left knee in. Feet, both feet active. Feel as if you're sending your sit bones away from you. Your lower back is pressing back to floor. Inhale, release. Reach your legs straight up and then reach your hands up, grab hold of the outside of your feet or the first two fingers are grabbing hold of your big toe. Happy baby. So now breathe, breathe to lower back. And then exhale. Pull your belly in. Your knees are coming down towards your armpits. Keep your neck still. Keep pulling your belly in and send your sit bones away from you. Two more like this. Deep breath. Breathing into lower back and spreading ribs to floor. And then exhale completely. Belly's in. Reach your heels up and draw your knees down. Press your lower back to floor. Keep pulling belly in and feel your sit bones as it lengthens away from you. One more deep breath. And exhale. Pull your belly in, knees to armpits, heels to ceiling. And then release, use your hands to draw your knees together. 
and then place the soles of your feet to the floor. You can stay here, soles of your feet to the floor, and your arms relax down by your side, especially if your back is tweaking. Or bring the soles of your feet together so the knees are out to the side. You can also, if you have a block, and if you feel this pain or discomfort into your abductors inside of your thighs, you can place a block uh, on the outside. Just helps to ease the discomfort into your abductors or straighten your legs. So let your arms relax. Close your eyes. If that's comfortable for you. And just allow yourself to completely relax in your final pose in Shavasana. Probably one of your most important poses. Taking time now to just absorb the energy that you have generated through your poses today. Relaxing the back of your skull. Relax your ears, side of your ears, and relax your forehead. Relax your eyes and eye sockets. Feel as if you're looking right through your third eye into the darkness, and then see what emerges what are the images, what are the sensations that are emerging for you? Not using this time to analyze, just stay with the immediate, the immediacy of what you feel, of what you notice. Relax your nose, relax your mouth, and relax your jaw. This may be a good time to open your mouth and moving your jaw from side to side, helping to release down into your jawbone muscles, your masseter muscles, into neck, into scalies muscles, the wreath of muscles down the side of your neck. It's taking this time to really feel for this opening into these areas. And then relax your collarbones. Relax your shoulders. Let your shoulders soften away from your ears. Let go of your upper back. Relax your mid back. And as you move towards your lower back, feel for reaching your sit bones away from you, sit bones to heels, and then feel the opening into lower back. Relax your belly, and your back opens up even more. Relax your diaphragm and feel how this affects your mid back. And relax your sternum. Feel as if you're just opening up, opening up with your breath. Now relax your pelvis. Feel as if your thighs are moving out to the side. Relax your thighs. The inside of your thighs, the outside of your thighs. Relax the back of your thighs and relax the front, quadriceps, hamstrings. Relax your knees, relax your calves, feel as if you're lengthening your calves down towards your heels. And now relax your shins, your ankles, relax your heels and your feet, relax your toes. And feel this, feel what comes up for you as you begin to let go. Really giving yourself the time that you need.
Relax your arms, your shoulders, allow them to melt away from your ears, and then relax your triceps and biceps. Relax your forearms, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, relax your hands, and relax your fingers. Still your mind. And just let go. you lie here now just feel that energy of let yourself let your body absorb the energy moving it into all parts of you on your next breath begin to stretch in a way that feels good On the next breath, bend the knees, draw your knees towards your chest, and then roll to your right side. Bring your left hand to the floor by your chest, breathe in, push the floor away with your left hand, and you come up and use your right hand to support your head and neck. Coming back into a seated position. As you sit up towards your hands together, the thumbs lightly touch sternum. Give yourself a moment to acknowledge what you've done and congratulate yourself for your practice. And thank you for allowing me to guide. So finishing together with a deep breath. And exhale. Namaste. Thanks everyone.